Welcome everybody back to another episode. Here we are with the brand new spearfishing beast, my new boat, and I'm gonna do a walkthrough, run through video for the features of this boat. Yeah, I'm sure you're gonna love it as much as I am. So let's get into it. So this is the new IS400 Spearfisher by Senator Boats. It's the new model with the new flared gunnel sides and a few more additions. It's an absolute weapon. Finally got my dream little spearfishing boat. And wow, what a beauty. For a small boat, it packs a lot of features. Very practical, very robust. I couldn't be happier with the results. So let's get into some of those features. First of all, I've got to say thank you to everyone who has followed my journey on YouTube over the last few years. Started the channel in 2017 and uh, here we are today. Seriously, all thanks to you guys watching my videos, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Yeah, messages of support, it's all come together and I've got my dream little boat. So thank you, seriously couldn't have done it without you guys. Bit cheesy, but it's true, so yeah. Big thanks. So the boat is a senator boat, it's a pontoon boat. They're built in Napier, New Zealand. Been around for a long time, one of the original players in the pontoon market and yeah, it is a quality vessel. So guys, obviously I've been running the inflatable IRB for quite a few years and there's so many boats on the market these days I'll tell you why I chose Senator number one I wanted a pontoon boat if you know about pontoon boats they're basically unsinkable and rough guys like me that push the limits I want something really safe really durable and um, pontoon was the way to go there's a lot of manufacturers out there now doing pontoon boats but there's just a few things about Senator which helped me make up my decision and we'll go through those Number one, Kiwi made, born and bred in New Zealand, so love to support NZ boat builders. So secondly, Senator are really, really big on customizing your boat. So you can get your base model and basically add on any feature you want. Um, a lot of other boat manufacturers are quite run of the mill. You get what you're given, um, unless you want to do it at home. So there's a couple of things I've added on on this boat, but yeah, you could fully customize it how you want and they'll build it. I really value relationships. And once I met Grant, the owner of Senator, it was clear that he's just a top bloke, real genuine Kiwi with good values. Good relationships, good boats. What else do you want? So it's sitting on an alloy trailers NZ trailer, full alloy, all the bells and whistles, rollers, all that stuff. It is a work of art, this trailer. Got some mag wheels as well. So yeah, look into those guys, alloy trailers NZ, really quality custom made Kiwi trailers. So stoked with that. Having the full rollers set up, launching and retrieving, it's just a, just a breeze. So for the main support frame on this trailer, it's a single piece of alloy. So. Yep, just makes that whole setup a lot stronger. So I've got a unique rocker system that's all built in house and that's all fully customized to every hull of each boat. Custom white wrap by Mammoth Designs in Napier. They do a wicked job, as you can see, it is just a mint, mint setup. Full outside wrap, inside as well and it really just makes that boat come to life. So I'm pretty stoked with the wrap. So one of the main features of this boat I'm really stoked with is the flooring by Udeck. This stuff is wicked. We've got a built-in fish measure on the side. It's really soft under feet really nice I've got the spare seat here with the UDEC on as well we've got the Primal Pursuit logo all embedded up here that's the cool thing you can send in your own design CNC it out and uh, it just looks wicked walk around all day on this stuff and it's um, comfy as we've got it wrapped right around the bell here oh, 
got the Simmons logo under here and it carries on out to the back and onto the duckboards. Really, really happy with this UDEC flooring. So one of the main pieces of the puzzle is the outboard. So we've got the Yamaha four-stroke 40 tiller steer. Yeah, what can I say about a Yamaha? Everyone knows they're reliable, bloody quiet, especially after my two-stroke, two-banger on the back of the IB. So I don't know too much about engines and whatnot, but the reviews speak for itself. So I imagine I'm not gonna have any issues with this and packs a punch, man. This thing's flying. I was gonna put a 50 on the back, but uh, it was gonna be a bit too heavy, so. 40 it was and it's plenty enough power this thing is flying i won't go too much into the motor um as i said i have not a clue really about outboards and stuff but yeah you can read up about that online the 44 stroke um excellent little motor obviously your basic tilts and stuff it does have some cool features such as the uh rpm adjuster here so once you're up on the plane set your speed you can just tweak it little bits at a time cool if you're trolling or whatnot what I do know is it's a 747cc three-cylinder. Um, that's all I know, but yeah, it's a little beast. One cool thing about this motor is it has the silent flush system, so if you're living in the city, suburbs, um, built up housing, you don't want to come home late at night after fishing or spearing and turn that outboard on, making all the noise, you can just plug the hose in and it does a silent flush, clean it out. So yeah, big positive if you're living in the city. It's got all the bells and whistles you'd expect day eh, on a on a late model motor but um, as I said if you want to know any specs you can look that up online I'm not going to ramble on and pretend I know what I'm talking about so yeah I've got a key start real simple there's no priming nice solid lever here into gear neutral reverse all very positive nice and strong we can adjust in here take that off very loose just for putting around in the shallows in the rocky areas for nice easy movement then when we're on the plane we can tighten that right up and that's really stiff so you can just kind of set your course so nice and simple motor's very quiet really cool i nearly bought some earmuffs a few times uh, out on the irb so it's really nice to um have a four stroke finally it's yeah game changer thought about going for a side console but on a boat this size you really want to maximize space it's only a four meter boat even though the center has heaps of heaps of floor space yeah for a small boat tiller steer is the way to go also it's just that maneuverability when you're in around rocky areas tight spaces you get a much sharper turning angle with the tiller steer so yeah I just like the simplicity simple's good in all aspects of life so this is the new IS400 spearfisher it's got the new flared gunnel design so yeah we've got really nice big wide sides now to sit on I've added some cup holders on here as well as on the seats so yep a few spots to put uh, cold refreshments out on the water planning to do a few overnighters now that I've got a bigger boat so stuff like that's really practical so yeah the new flared gunnels just really give the boat more space under here we've got so much storage spare guns GoPros got some carpet in here and that's just plenty of space i can stack loads of spare guns in the side whatever same on the other side heaps of space under here and that carries on right around the front which we'll get to soon so this boat has a four millimeter hull three mil sides so yeah just so strong sturdy pontoon boats can be known to be a bit bit slappy a bit more uncomfortable on the water but after lots of reading online um between different pontoon boats I heard nothing but good stuff about senators versus the others just lots of great reviews so yeah even though I'm used to bouncing around on the IB um, having a comfortable ride I think everyone everyone wants that so 
that was a major major plus as well so yeah as you can see we've got two two bench seats got this one with a big nice foam pad on there really comfy again with senator you can get basically anything put on these they're all custom made you can have any logo and design put on um, yeah just really quality quality seating so I've got the second seat up here these all slide around so you can position them anywhere really handy or you can just remove them all together off you by yourself so yeah very cool very cool Up front we've got some dry storage, in here we've got a big dry well, fully sealed off from the weather and water, and in there you can chuck your phone, keys, mobiles, and it's going to stay bone dry, so that's pretty cool. Sides of the boat, up the bow we have some splash skirt here, and you could chuck jumpers, towels, whatever you want in there, it's going to stay pretty bloody dry and that just clips on. Everything's just super practical in this boat and really well thought out. These carry around on the front here, right under there, on both sides, so pretty cool, pretty cool. Up board we've got an anchor well, solid anchor in here, all set up. That runs straight over here and uh, yeah, again, just simple, well thought out, good setup. I'm pretty happy with that. More storage up here. This is actually specifically designed for weight belts. So as you can see in here, got your weight belt. You can pack this with four or five, how many you want. Stops that bouncing around the boat, squashing your feet. That's a nice little solid compartment just to put stuff like that in. I myself being a trucker, spear fishing boy. That's a big game float, fits in there, easy as got my dive bag here again you can chuck this all up the front and it's just so much space a lot a lot of deck space for a small boat it's pretty cool got the big raised extra large high bow rail this is awesome if you are fishing and stuff excellent to hold on to and lean over so I've got these splash skirts mounted it's an additional op option to add on easy click on and off so I can remove those if I want I've heard good things about these, really stop that spray coming over, which is an issue on smaller boats. Obviously I'm not too worried, as I'm pretty much in a wetsuit all the time, but for those longer trips, who doesn't want to stop a bit of uh, overspray? So those are a really good positive, especially if you're just going to go out fishing with your family or young ones. I think it's an awesome addition, so something to look into on boats. It's a really cool, simple design. They just wrap around the big bow rail here, all clipped on, all click on real solid, down the bottom, and yeah, I think it's awesome. You've got the opening up the front so you can see out and um, yeah, neat design, neat product. So this boat is purpose built for Sparrows, all the dive features which you need for an easy simple setup it's all here so up front here we've got our dive flag built-in holder all ready to go just get a bit of dive flag than me but there you go you get the idea simple stuff like that if you're a Sparrow diving this boat is just set up ready to go again so much storage down the side here just whack it in there so I've got the two duck boards at the back just a standard level one there but on this side, on the port side, we've got a tapered off duckboard, purposely built for us divers. So you can just slide off and slide back into the boat. Easy exit and entry. Again, just real simple, well thought out design. I'm just stoked with this boat, it's perfect for me. Got grab rails at the back, both sides. Again, just gonna help you get on and off the boat for diving. We've got four fishing rod holders. One here, one up here. Same on the other side, so we've got four fishing rod holders, as I mentioned earlier, these are an addition I've put in, some cup holders, I think that's awesome, and we've got our measurement um, just on the one side, it's awesome. I did have these grab rails added on the outside here, just for whilst driving, 
gives you something just to, to hold on to if we're, in, if we're in some rough conditions bouncing around so that's nice and also just climbing in off the side if you want to and uh, yeah another little addition another custom feature which you can just do a senator no issues so yeah really cool i've just got the 25 litre tote tank sitting at the back here again all these seats are movable so we've got a tow tank battery here at the back i find once you've got the seat here for driving it's actually quite a good spot to have it you could move it up to the front get it up there somewhere but there's plenty of space i think it's fine at the back so that's all set up here Another nice feature of this motor setup, we've got our oil here, you can check the colour of it here, so if there's any problems, any water in the oil, you can see the coloration here, nice and simple. Another nice simple easy feature is the scupper system, we've got our two, two scupper holes, one on each side, got those two scupper flaps at the back, so what we can do is just unclip them now. They just clip on under here, underneath. And then once we're on the plane, get up on the plane, all that water just drains out. So, yep, nice, easy self-draining system. If I really don't want any water in the boat, I've actually just put these in now, hence a little bit of water. But I can put the bungs in and uh, fully block off those scupper holes. Otherwise, I just let them open and it's gonna, gonna drain out. Right up forward, we've got some fin storage, specifically designed. These rails here, they can be used as a grab rail and secondly is fin storage so yeah it's just as simple as grabbing your fins and they just sit in here so yeah pretty neat chuck your fins down there holds them in place just keeps them out of the way so when you're moving around dive spots jumping from spot to spot get stuff away off that floor stops it flying around you're probably not going to leave them in there for long trips if those are bouncing around yeah you don't really want those chipping but um just yeah small trips around stuff like that again simple easy to use features real practical up under here there's so much space Really, you could get away with not even taking the dive bag out. Under here, we can just grab our wetsuits. Plenty of space to store your wetsuits and stuff. We can chuck that all up under there. Socks, booties, gloves, snorkels, just whack it all in there. What else we got? Torches, knives, whack it in. And that just all tucks away under there. There's so much space, you could literally get four guys kits in each of those fins in there you're laughing if you haven't been on a pontoon boat before they're so stable i'm just able to walk around the bow here Walking down the side here, jumping up and down, the boat just barely moves here. So, so stable. And this new flared gunnel, it's really nice, like, there's so much space here, literally. So good to walk around. Stand up here if you're into your fishing, whack a few casts off. Yeah, it's neat. Alright, for the sounder, we've got a Lowrance HDS Live, 9 inch touchscreen display it's wicked real crisp quality simple to use <clears throat> we've got all our side scan options we have our sonar we have normal charts and we can do split displays as such it's just really simple to use nice big screen nine inches perfect i think i didn't need any bigger on here and uh yeah we've just got it mounted on the side we can rotate this around and whatnot. It's all good. And underneath the transducer, we've got a active imaging three-in-one transducer. Again, don't know too much about that, but it's, uh, it does the job. 
had a bit of a play around in the harbour so far and it's um, very detailed. Looks like it's going to do the job, so sweet as. So most of you uh, that have been watching my videos for the last few years know um, I'm a bit of a cowboy on the old IRB. Um, yeah, been a bit slack with safety, so got this new boat. It's time to improve that side of my diving. So yeah, I stopped into Lustity and Blundell NZ. I've got a couple of these awesome new life jackets. I've got a little kit together, which I'm gonna have all my safety e perps and stuff. So here it is. Got my little dry container and um, actually got my phone here at the moment. I've got one of these EPIRBs from Ocean Signal, so that's all registered. These are lifesavers, look into getting these for any vessel you have. Still got to mount this, I might put it up the front here somewhere. Um, what else have I got? I've got a VHF on the way, don't have that quite yet. Um, but for now I've got my Garmin GPS Map 66i. So I use this little bad boy when I'm out hunting in the bush. Once you've got your subscription with Garmin, I can be in the middle of nowhere and send and receive text, emails and stuff like that. Um, plus it's got the emergency SOS and all that feature built in. These are really cool little devices. Obviously got all the maps and a lot of other functions. Yeah, GPS Map 66i. If you do a bit of hunting and diving and all sorts of adventure activities like that, these are, these are really, really worth their money. So look into those. Other than that, yeah, got my dive flag. But yeah, I'm still gonna do my solo diving. I love it out there. I know it's frowned upon in the community, but um, it is what it is. Don't recommend it for others, but it's what I love to do. It's my time to chill out, have my peace, meditation. So yeah, anyways, a bit more safe, a few more features, and a much more reliable motor. So yeah, all good. So the normal centre to spare fisher boats come with spare gun brackets welded on here um, on the bow rails but I've just decided to leave them off uh, on this boat. Just wanted a bit more of a, a clean appearance. There's so much space under these gunnels here that I thought it's really unnecessary. Um, maybe I'll change my mind and weld a few clips on at a later date. There's heaps of different brackets you can buy out there as well, mounting systems. So I just am really liking these splash guards. So. Um, Potentially it's just going to be a bit too cluttered and messy if I had spare guns up there as well So there it is. That's the main setup. Well guys, I hope you liked that run through of the new Ice Wander Spearfisher My new spearfishing boat. If you've got any questions fire them through or if you're keen to get one or talk about options Send it to boats.co.nz. Can't say enough positive things about this little beast and I'll give you a bit more of a practical updated review after a few missions, but uh, Anyway, stay tuned for some more spearfishing adventures Thanks for tuning in. If you want to see more content, hit subscribe and I'll see you out there on the next mission. Cheers guys.